guests are on a Tuesday, right in December 21st, 2021. Today is not a video, it's not going to be about uh, die cast, it's going to be something about what good are fucking car insurances? Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> Pardon my French, but this video is not going to be made for children. My, none of them are, so the title of this video is, <clears throat> excuse me. What good are car? What good are fucking car insurances? Well, let me tell you, not really for much because I just got off the phone earlier today with the other woman's insurance that smashed into my car, and they told me pretty much she's not getting, she's not being responsible for what happened. So in other words, since I don't have full coverage in my end, my insurance didn't help me at all anymore, and they're saying they're not being, you know, responsible for the damages. So in other words, I'm fucked. I, have, I don't have a car. It's totaled. And they're not going to pay me or even try to get it fixed or give me money for a new car. I've been trying to get in contact with the, the what's called the city. <clears throat> see if I could get footage of the camera from that street angle. And they said that they don't have any recording videos in the camera in that corner. There's videos, cameras. It's only to watch, monitor traffic. Whatever the fuck that is. I mean, there's not even a recording. It just monitor traffic flow. And anyways... I talked to the damn police report woman that went down there, the woman, <clears throat> and uh, not because she's a female, because she fucked up. She didn't put, she didn't write any fucking report about the accident. She only gave me an incident report, which is different, if you guys know. Incident report just gives a description of what happened, but that woman, <clears throat> she told in front of her, she said, and in front of a tow truck driver that was witness, she was being distracted by her granddaughter watching a YouTube video while she was driving, mind you. And the stupid police didn't put that in there in the report. Otherwise, I would have had her and she would have been fucked. But no. So now I'm fucked. I don't have no car. I'm not going to get normal compensation of money or they're going to fix it or not. I'm going to have to fight it somehow. I can't stay like this. And I mean, I'm going to have to get a fucking lawyer. I don't want to go that route. But hey, I mean, I had to get something, man. It wasn't my fault. I was a victim. So that's what the topic of discussion is. What the fuck are good are car insurances? Pretty much nothing. I could wipe my ass with them. And I know maybe it's because I don't have full coverage, but hey, it's an 18-year-old car. Why would I have full coverage, you know? It's dumb. If I had a new car, well, yeah. But either way, my insurance just threw me to the west side. And, you know, they didn't even help me at all anymore. They were kind of rude, actually. They were like, well, you know, pretty much it's up to her insurance and you to figure it out. That's it. We part ways. And that's it. You know, you have to resolve it with them. And now the guy, the estimator today, called me. He said, well, she's still denying and... She changed her whole story, and, you know, even though you are telling me this, <laughs> it's only from word of mouth. We can prove it. There's no actual physical or written e evidence. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, you're pretty much on your own, you know, and we're not going to pay any liability, any uh, try to repair your car, or even give you money for another car. So that's pretty much I'm fucked. I'm just really upset, guys. I'm venting, so I thought I would come up here on YouTube and do a little video, because I know it's not diecast related, but... It's really frustrating when you're a poor person <laughs> and you try to be honest. I guess the only other route I should have done, I should have faked to be injured, right? <laughs> like my back hurting, my spine or something. My legs, my neck, you know, that's it. Well, no wonder people do that. They want to be, I want to do it the right way, but <laughs> insurances just fuck you over. You're in the middle finger, you know, when you're honest. So maybe I should have just done that. I should have pretended to have been injured. <clears throat> and, uh. Now I see why a lot of people go that route. I know it's shady and uh, dirty, but hey, the insurance companies don't look out for you. You only want your monthly payment every month. And when you miss a little payment, one little payment, and fuck you, they're going to cancel you, right? They don't care if you have money to pay or not. And when in a, in a situation like this comes, that, you know, you're a victim and you're trying to get something, they're like, oh, well, too bad. You know, you don't have full coverage, so well, fuck you. You got to figure it out with the other insurance. So you know what? That's what I'm saying. What the fuck are good car insurances for? For nothing. That's what I think. And sure, I have Merc, uh, <clears throat> what's it called? Infinity, which is now a Kemper. It's a pretty cheap one, but still, they all pretty much work the same. And uh, she has Allstate. And she has a 2018 Hyundai Genesis G80. But still, she has money. She should be giving me some type of fucking compensatory, comp uh, compensatory uh, amount. And it was her fault. She turned on left. When it was our turn to go straight on that street. And there is no left turn. She keeps saying there was a left turn. <clears throat> she went right in front and barreled down on me head on. And took out the whole front end of my car. And I think it's pretty much total. And they don't even want to repair it. And they don't even want to give me any compensatory money. Um, so, you know, I'm pretty much fucked. Like I'm saying, it's pretty frustrating. I went down to the police station. Asked them if they could give me the footage. 
of the traffic signal. And he said, no, because they're not really recording. It's just a on, I want to say like a camera that just sees traffic go through the flow of traffic. Some shit like that. I don't know if it's true or not. Maybe if I get a lawyer, I could get that footage out. I'm not sure how it works. And uh, what else? I'm just fucking pissed off, man. So in other words, I'm not even going to get a rental. I'm not going to get money from my car. And I'm not even going to get it repaired. So pretty much I'm fucked before the holidays. What do you think of that, guys? Leave your opinions down below. Has this ever happened to you? And what type of route did you take or path did you take? Did you have to fake an injury or get a lawyer? Or what? I mean, to get resolved because this is unfair for just a regular schmo, a blue-collar man like myself. Mind you, I was coming home from work, grab something to eat for dinner, going on my way back home to my apartment, and get smacked right in the front because this stupid bitch, well, yeah, she, I'm going to say it, I was looking at a YouTube video with her granddaughter, and I think she hit the gas pedal instead of the brake, and her turn, and she swears there's a left turn, but there's no left arrow. It's only yield on green. You have to wait till the other cars go through the intersection. And she just made a left right in front of us when it was our turn to go straight on that crossing the intersection and plowed right into me head on. But anyways, guys, I'm really upset. I'm, <laughs> I am, I was fuming earlier, but <clears throat> I thought I would come on here. It would have been way nastier, the video. So I hope YouTube doesn't take it down, but that's why I was had to cool down because I was really pissed off and upset. And I'm just depressed with the whole situation. I mean, that means that if you're a poor guy who can't afford full coverage or you have a cheap old car, it's not worth nothing. If it gets total, oh, well, fuck you, right? You have to buy something else or you're out of a car and take public transportation. But if you have a brand new car, full coverage, oh, you're pampered. They, uh, they'll they help you out. You're you a more respectable individual. I don't think that's right. I think supposed to, we're not supposed to read a book by its cover. Even if a person has a 15-year-old car, 18-year-old car, and this person has a 2021, and it's her fucking fault and ran them to the other guy. He has no full coverage, but it's her fault. And the other insurance doesn't want to give the other guy any type of compensation or any type of, you know, trying to fix the car. They can or not compensation for a new car. You know, I, you know, it's kind of unfair. If, if their client, it's their client's fault. She doesn't want to take responsibility. She's changing the story saying that it was not her fault. She had a green arrow, which is obviously you're not a green arrow on that corner. And in other words, they're telling me, well, pretty much, you know, I don't want to be bold, the guy said, but you're pretty much going to be, in other words, he didn't say it, but fucked. So, and that was her insurance estimator. That's what he told me today on the phone. Because it's only mouth to mouth, from word to, yeah, from mouth to mouth, though, supposedly it's still up in the air. They don't really know. They said, but worst case scenario, that could be what you're looking at. <sighs> Anyways, guys. I don't know. Just before the holidays. What a great... This happened two weeks ago. December 11th on a Saturday. And, you know, I'm just back and forth. I'm so fucking tired of going through this. The insurance. My insurance getting hold of. The estimator. Whatever. The claim, claim person. Trying to play catch and like, mouse, mouse and, uh, cat and mouse with her insurance. And finally, I got somebody. And then they switched the estimator now yesterday. And I'm talking to this guy. And now he tells me that. So what the hell? I mean, they're just playing with a person's life. My car is my livelihood. I go to work. How am I going to do it now? You know? They're not even offering me a rental to be in. Which I don't even give a shit about that. I just want either they're going to repair my car or give me money to buy something else to replace my car. That's what I think. They could keep their fucking rental car. I don't give a shit. I just want something to give me money. You know, for a new car. Or at least try to fix it. But if they say it's not because of the year, that's what they also told me. Well, because of the year, it's a 2004 almost 18 years old pretty much we're just gonna you know total it out but then now they're saying not even that so you know that's where the frustration comes in guys so what am i supposed to do now I, i'm the victim and i have to spend out of my own pocket for another car you know oh because you know, i don't have full coverage and the car you know is old so they're like oh well fuck it too bad we did you a favor you know it's our client it's our client's fault but hey she has full coverage and of course they're gonna take her side because they're insurance they're they're her insurance company. My insurance company didn't even do shit. I'm pissed off at them. I think I'm gonna cancel them and go somewhere else. Cause they're like, well, unfortunately you don't have full coverage, so you know, we're not gonna help you anymore. It's up to the her insurance to help you out. So okay, fuckers, I thought to myself, that's how it's gonna be. Maybe starting next new year, I'll probably change to another insurance company. Maybe Mercury or Allstate or I don't know, farmers or something better. 
But anyways, guys, 55 underscore, guys, so I don't want to make this video too long. I'm taking a page from Hewitt's, James, a <laughs> uh, little rant, uh, just to relieve some pressure and some uh, stress. Um, but this is how I'm feeling. What do you guys think? Have you guys gone through this? And what type of thing should I do? Should I get a lawyer? Is that the best option? Are there not any other option? Or should I try to keep insisting on her insurance and make her tell her, well, your, your client is a liar and she changed her whole story. And she's lying the whole, she's twisting the whole story now around saying it was not her fault. She had a green arrow. Obviously, there's not. And the stupid police report. Well, there's no, there's no police report. Stupid bitch, cop. Sorry, my language. She didn't even wrote down her damn report. So there's nothing I've written. Evidence. And they don't want to give me the footage because supposedly there is no camera recording in that angle, in that corner street intersection. I went to the 7 Eleven in that corner. They supposedly don't have cameras. I went to the gas station across the street. Their manager wasn't there, so they can't give me any footage. So pretty much I'm to my neck. I've just stressed out the last couple of weeks. I haven't been showing it, but <laughs> it's not easy, guys. You guys know who, whenever you get into an accident, at least it would have been my fault. You know, I was like, well, okay, it's my fault. I fucked up, you know. But it was her fault. I was just a victim. And they don't even want to do nothing. They don't want to either come and look at the car. You know, they can fix it. I can say, if it's fixable or give me money to buy something else. Well, that's not fucking fair. They don't want me to do everything, take all the burden. And if it's their, it's their client's fault, she ran the red light. And now I have to I'm dip into my own pocket, buy an own car, you know. So that's what I'm saying. What the fuck are car insurance is good for? Absolutely fucking nothing. That's as blunt as I'm going to be. And it's the truth. Leave your opinions down below, guys. What do you guys think? If you agree with 55 underscore guesser. It's a whole different, it's a different type of video. But I just had to come up here like, you know, Hewitt's, you know, give some of my thoughts on the whole thing. I mean, that's like he was saying. The rich guys always win. The poor people are always stepped on. And they don't have no rights. And I'm tired of it. You know, you're a blue collar person. You don't have no rights. But you're a rich, up here, high crest person. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're... Yeah, you get, get everything your way. Like those, you know, people with the new Audis, new Beamers, new Mercedes. Oh, yeah. But you see a poor slob, a regular Joe, who has a, you know, old car. So automatic, automatic, automatically, they think it's his fault. And they take the uh, rich guy's side you know that's what i'm saying that's like me i don't have full coverage so i'll say oh well fuck you she has full coverage she has a newer car so oh well you're fucked go on your merry fucking way well no i'm not gonna stand for you guys leave your opinions down below what do you guys think about this video i know it's not diecast related but you know day-to-day -day life and I, I like to post that sometimes and why not you know and it's only four days away before christmas what a fucking happy Christmas I'm having, right? <laughs> Not only did my mom pass away, but I had to deal with this fucking thing, too. And, uh, you know, it's just frustrating. I mean, I hate that. There's no... There's no rights for, you know, a blue-collar person anymore. You have to be upscale. have to be rich with money so you be respected. Well, you know, I don't think so. We're all supposed to be equal, right? Supposedly, quotations. Leave your opinions down below, guys. 55 underscore guesser is the rant for the night. <laughs> and uh, I wasn't going to do it, but I said, what the hell? Why not? You know, I have to see what the community thinks out there. They've gone through this. Uh, what type of patch should I take? Should I get involved and get in? I don't want to do that, but I, I, I'll get a lawyer. I'll, I'll do a consult, consultation, consultation, consultation with a lawyer and see what he says. I mean, I don't want to do that, but hey, maybe I'll, I will think I am injured. I don't care. Hey, yeah, we have to be shady and dirty and low life, hey, to get resolved. Hey, I only wanted to get my money for get another car or get it fixed. But we're not even going to do that. And that's her fault. That's not fair to me. I'm a victim. Anyways, guys, 55 on the score. Guys, have a great night. Hope you have a better night than I am. And, uh, well, leave your opinions down below. I would love to hear what you guys think. Now, what path should I take? Should I keep bugging? Well, I already went down to the police department two days in a row and no fucking answer. I haven't been able to get in contact with that woman, police officer. I went down to the tow yard and uh, to get that driver because he had the testimony. And I haven't been able to reach him either so he could be a witness and talk to her insurance. Because that would really help. Anyways, guys. 55 underscore guess or what do you guys think? Leave your opinions down below. It's my little rant for tonight. I'm going to title the video, What the Fuck Are good our car insurance absolutely need to wipe my ass with <laughs> have a great night peace